I guess, so if people are going to go networking, what's the best advice you can give them to get the most out of that experience then? So a couple of pieces of advice, I would say that number one is go where your clients are. What I see with a lot of people, particularly in marketing is they go to their own marketing channels. So if they're doing pay-per-click, they go to pay-per-click events, but most people go into pay-per-click events, no pay-per-click, right? So if you are working with plumbers, then go to plumbing events. If you're working with SaaS businesses, go to SaaS business events. Uh, go where your customers are, not necessarily where your peers are. Or you, you can obviously do both because this is a good mix between learning and get new clients, but be aware of the fact that, you know, where's my clients, where's my audience. Uh, so I think that's the first one. Second one, I think it's, it's for a lot of people, particularly if you're introvert, it takes a little bit of effort. I am extremely introvert by nature, but learning to, you know, stick out your hand and say, Hey, my name is Matt and start a conversation is exceptionally valuable and, uh, took me a long time to learn took me a long time to master, if you will. And, uh, yeah, I, I think it's, it's about pushing yourself. I think starting a business, starting on your own is very much, uh, sort of a pressure game, if you will. And, uh, I think it's very, very important to make sure that you really, uh, put some pressure on yourself to learn and to grow through that experience and not, not just stay in your comfort zone. Amazing. I love that advice. I love that advice. And, and yeah, I. I'm intimidated by in-person networking events, like hands on heart. I love networking. I love connecting people. I love putting people together and I do a lot of it digitally. Um, I, I live in the Northeast of England, so there aren't that many networking events that are suited to my client base up here. A lot of them tend to be down the South of the country or the Midlands or the Northwest. So I kind of struggle for good quality networking events up here anyway. But that certainly resonates with me and, and it, it ties in with something I say to people quite a lot and maybe I need to take my own advice is just eat the damn frog, right? If you've, if you've got something that you really don't want to do, there's a reason you don't want to do it, but your competition also don't want to do it. So if you're brave enough to do it and do it regularly and consistently, you will beat the competition. Um, so absolutely, I love that. I love that. And then I guess to the other side of the, the tracks then, what's, what's the one thing that you would... Thanks very much for joining us today. And if you've enjoyed the episode, please come back for next week's episode for another fantastic guest here on Market Pulse Pros and Pioneers. Or might work for others, but it's for a niche audience, maybe. <laughs>